Hey everyone, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly update. And today's update is on the launch of the new websites. So KW has been putting together a new website for y'all to utilize. And as of today, on September 12th, it looks like it's fully activated for y'all to use if you want to. That's the, that's the one big caveat on here. You will need to go through and update your site or upgrade your site only if you want to utilize it. Now, in this case, you can continue to use the current site that you have, or you can upgrade to the new version as well. All right, so when you're on your command homepage, the main thing you'll want to first take a look at is over here on the left-hand side is this consumer applet. That is where your site backend is going to display. So when we click on consumer on here, you're going to notice a couple things. So first and foremost, if you have any pages that are on your website that are custom pages, before you move over, make sure that you save them. All right, go through, open up a Google Doc, open up a Word Doc, go into those pages, copy and paste everything, because those pages will not move over to the new site. All right, there's not a way to add new custom pages quite yet, but once there is, you'll want to save that information in the back end. Now, another big thing that'll happen before we click upgrade my site is the landing page section. All right, the landing pages will go away as well. Now, these pages will remain active online. So if you use any of these landing pages and you want to continue to use them, all right, you won't be able to change anything afterwards. But if you want to continue to use them, make sure you copy that URL. All right, so I can copy this link on here. I can open this up and copy it. Make sure you save it. Or if you want to deactivate at them, make sure you change this status option from green. I'm going to click yes to make it inactive to make it white on here. All right. Or if you really want to be extremely safe, you can also click the three dots on the right hand side and click delete. All right. So that's the pre stuff that you'll need to get done before you actually activate and upgrade the website. So once again, going back on here, we started from our home page. All right, we went to the consumer section at the bottom left down here, the last applet down. And before we upgrade the site, we want to first see, do we have any pages that we want to save our content from? Because once again, once this site is upgraded, all right, some of those pages uh, more than likely won't display. All right, you will have some pages like an about page, you'll have a contact page, testimonial page, but if you add custom pages that you made with specific information, make sure you save that into a Google Doc, into a Word Doc, wherever you can save it for the time being. The other big item is this landing page section. Once again, these landing pages will remain active. You won't be able to deactivate them. You won't be able to change anything. So if you want to continue to use that landing page, save that URL. That is going to be a necessity. Save that URL and make sure that the status is green. If you don't want them active anymore, make sure that you uncheck that green status to make this white or feel free to click the three dots on the right hand side to delete everything. All right, once you have done that, now you can click upgrade my site to go through everything possible. All right, so that is the pre info of what you'll need to do before you get started on your upgraded website. Now, remember, you do not have to do that today. You don't even have to do it anytime soon. All right, but if you do want to take advantage of the new site while it's launching today, obviously new updates are going to be happening consistently. All right, KW is always coming out with new updates that y'all are looking for. All right, new items are always being launched and labbed. So if you don't want to go after the first version of the site that is officially live for you, you can hold off. But if you do, now you can click that Upgrade My Website option. All right, so that's a few things to consider before you officially launch your website. So there you go. So that is your KW Command tip for the day.